What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's look at some college basketball picks for Monday, February 27th slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. I know you're down in the dumps about it. Oh, my God. Memphis killed me. They killed my soul, and it was rough. Uh, they were covering the whole game, legitimately the entire game. They were up big going into halftime, and I don't know what happened coming out of half. They were they were at home. that They should have sealed the deal, but Jesus Christ, I my soul was, was gone. I don't know what else to say. Luckily, the Lakers, you know, picked me back up and they delivered me to the promised land or else I, I don't know what I'd be doing. I was in a dark place for a minute, guys. Yeah, that game was extremely tough to watch down the stretch. Memphis choked that cover away. They barely won the game. I think they won by three. Is that correct? Yeah, they won by three. And they honestly, I, they probably should have lost with how they were playing the last oh, three yeah. and a half, four minutes of that game. Absolutely. But um, I had the UCF Knights. Minus 12 and a half against Tulsa. Um, somebody from the community needs to reach out to the University of Tulsa and make sure those players are okay because I can't imagine day in and day out, night in and night out, getting absolutely torched on the court every single time you play. This game was never in doubt. UCF controlled for 34 minutes. Tulsa scored 15-ish points in the last six minutes of the game. They scored under 50 points in the game, 14 points in the first half for Tulsa. Just not good for them. I feel bad for them, honestly. Um, UCF covers with these teats. Yeah, I uh, I finally did it, guys. I got myself a win. I went back with my old reliable of Iona. They took on Sienna. Uh, not only did they win, they covered. They covered three separate times in that game. Uh, the spread was minus ten, and they won ninety three to sixty. They won by thirty three points. Uh, Walter Clayton, Dennis Jenkins, Bill scored eighteen. Nelly Jr. Joseph, 14. The entire team took over. They they definitely wanted that win. They wanted the uh, rematch from earlier in the season. They want to end the season pretty strong, and that's a that's a statement win right there. We love to see that win. Teats 2-1 and one last night. Let's go 3-0 tonight. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to be attacking conference tournament games from here on out. It's my favorite time of the year, conference tournament time leading into March Madness. And this is the first round of the A-Sun Championship Tournament. So both these teams are going to be coming into this game with a lot of juice. I'm talking about Bellarmine versus North Florida. And though even though this is a conference tournament game, this is at North Florida. It is not a neutral site, so that needs to be noted as well. And Bellarmine has been below average this season with a 14-17 and 17 record. And they are 6-11 and 11 on the road. And North Florida is not much better, below average as well. Match a, an identical record of 14-17. and 17. But they have been dominant at home, 11 and 2 record. And these two teams have already played once this season. In fact, it was three days ago. So it's very fresh. And that game was also at North Florida. And North Florida did win that game by 12 points. And the reason why I love this game so much, it is a classic offense versus defense game. Bellarmine is ranked the 315th scoring offense, but ranked the 86th scoring defense. And North Florida is ranked the 69th scoring offense, but the 350th in scoring defense. And most of the scoring for Bellarmine comes from their backcourt duo of Garrett Tipton and Ben Johnson. And yes, you know, Ben Johnson is as wide as what you would expect. But North Florida does do a good job on them. They did a great job on them three days ago. They combined for only 20 points. <clears throat> and for North Florida, they have a trio of scores and double figures. But most of their scoring does come from Carter Hendrickson, who averages 16.5 points per game. And Hendrickson did torch Bellarmine three days ago, 25 points and nine rebounds in that matchup. So... Give me North Florida here to advance in their conference tournament and take home the easy win against Bellarmine. Yeah, I like it, Trey. Um, for my pick tonight, I'm going to Sky Country, uh, the Big Sky Conference, a team I've never watched and a team I've never thought about. But the slate tomorrow is not very good, like Teet said earlier. It's Montana versus Idaho. These games are fun because I get to learn a lot about other teams that don't get to, uh, don't get any love because they're never on TV. Uh, so this was fun researching and finding the Montana Grizzlies tonight. I will be taking Montana minus four on the road against Idaho. These teams have already already met this season. Montana beat Idaho 67-56 on their home floor, covering the spread of minus 8.5. The stats for Montana on offense are not very good as they're only averaging 68.8 points per game this season. Montana does, however, have the best three-point shooting percentage-wise team in the Big Sky Conference, hitting 37.5% of their shots from deep. They make eight per game. For Idaho on offense, they score 73.5 points per game, shooting 47.3% from the field. 
On defense is where Montana has been very good this season. They are only allowing 68 points per game, and teams are only making six threes per game against them, which is best in conference. Teams are only shooting 31.8% against them from deep. Those are both first in the conference. Idaho is allowing 72.8 points per game on defense and allowing teams to shoot 47% from the field. I mentioned the three-point percentages for Montana because in their 11-point win against Idaho the first time around, Montana only made seven threes on 33% shooting. They didn't have their best game from deep, going 7 of 21, and they still cover the spread of minus 8.5. For Idaho, they have lost four of their last five games and didn't cover the spread in their last three games played. They played the worst team in conference, Northern Colorado, on February 16th, winning that game 84-82. So it really could be five straight losses for Idaho if they don't win that game. Montana has won four of their last five games, three of which were on the road beating Weber State 74-69 and Idaho State 69-61. Weber State is third best team in conference, and Idaho State is fifth ranked team in conference. So those are going on the road and competing against good teams and winning games for Montana. Idaho this season is dead last in the conference and six and nine at home. Idaho also, their last three games played, has scored 53, 55, and 50 points. Of the teams they played, last three games, only one team has been better than Montana on the defensive side of the ball. So that looks very promising to me as Idaho is struggling right now. And Montana has a really good defense who can shut down Idaho. With Montana shooting the three wheel and Idaho looking like they're giving up on the season, I'm going to lay the four points here on the road with Montana. So that will be my pick. My pick tonight: Montana minus four. Teeps. Yeah, we have a we definitely have interesting games that we can pick, but I do agree. I love the ability to learn about a bunch of small schools and small conferences. Uh, the conference that I learned about is the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. I feel like I've learned a lot about multiple different mid major Atlantic or athletic conferences or Atlantic conferences recently. So the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference, specifically Howard versus South Carolina State. South Carolina State averages 75 points per game. They allow 84, which might be one of the worst in the nation. Uh, Howard averages 74 points per game and they allow 73 uh, against them. Uh, so Howard, South Carolina State, offensively, they're both pretty decent. Uh, defensively, Howard's pretty mediocre. South Carolina State, I don't know if they actually have five players on the court when they're on defense uh, to allow 84 points per game, especially in their type of conferences. Uh, Howard is 3-2 and two over the last five. They've had two straight losses. South Carolina State, State is 2-3 and three with uh, three straight losses. So player-wise to kind of focus on with these two teams, Howard has Elijah Hawkins. He's averaging 13 points, six assists, and two steals per game. And they also have Steve Settle, the third, who has 11 points and six rebounds per game. Uh, South Carolina State has Rakeem Gary, who averages 12 points per game, and Lasone Hallams, who averages 11 points per game. Those are both the highest scoring players on each team. Um, the last time that they played was in DC, which was Howard's home court, and Howard won 100 to 74. So the spread of minus four and a half, which when I wrote this down, it was five and a half, uh, is a little fishy. I don't like the spreads because there's something kind of feeling odd about the fact that they won by 26 and they're almost just a basket spread uh, difference. So I am going to take the over on the total. Um, head to head wise, Howard and uh, South Carolina State are in even five and five. And maybe that's what plays into it. South Carolina State seems to play Howard really well besides uh, the 26 point loss this year. Um, there's no defense play between these two teams, really. Howard a little bit, South Carolina State zero. Both offenses are very capable of scoring. Uh, And the fact that their total was 174 points scored in their last matchup, I think 156 plus should be very doable. So give me the over of 155 and a half. All right, guys, that's three more plays for tonight. That'll do it for our college basketball picks and predictions. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video. And thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. 
So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.